Hello, this is Yakov Fein with Sparata Systems, and today I'll show you a generated Hello World app in Angular, which is really small. It'll weigh a little more than 55 kilobytes deployed and loaded in the browser. We'll start with the regular uh, Angular CLI generated app. So what I will do, I will do ng new Hello World. And I will use a key minimal. This will generate a new project. See, the files are already generated. Now it installs the dependencies in the folder Hello World. The option minimal means don't generate testing, generate inline styles and inline templates. It'll take less than 30 seconds, the whole process. And when the project is ready, I will open it up in my IDE. After that, we'll make just tiny adjustment to make it really small. See, the project is generated. Now we'll go to the IDE. I use uh, WebStorm, but it could be done in any IDE or even without IDE, and open this newly generated project, Hello World. After I open it, we'll see what was generated. Hello World project is there, and let's see. I have SRC with APP, and APP component is here. All this code was generated for me. I don't need all of that. I want to have this clean experiment when we have only like Hello World. I'll just keep just the minimum of the template. Basically, that's good enough. We will uh, welcome to and title is coming from this uh, uh, property title of the class using binding. We save that part. Next thing is that since I am not going to use any custom uh, decorators in my code in the generated polyfills TS, I don't need this reflect package. Actually, it's true only if I will be using the AOT compilation. And I will, because I will be making a production build. I go to my terminal. I, by the way, this is all I will change in this generated app. I'll go in my terminal and I will do production build. And G build prod. Prod uh, will do optimization and it'll also internally do a head of type compilation. After this uh, process is done, which will take about 15 seconds, we'll see a new directory called dist with all generators, generated bundles in there. Let's wait for another five seconds or so and it'll be done. Done. So now I see a new directory dist with all the bundles there. What I will do, I will go to this directory, cd dist, and I want to start this server. What I will use for it, I will use a nice handy uh, little web server called serve. It's an npm package and to install it you would need uh, just to type in npm install serve minus g for global, but I will not do this because I already have it. So what I will do, I will start the app. Now, uh, I am in the disk directory, right? So to start it with serve, I will do serve dot. It's done, the server started on port 5000, as you can see. I'll go to my browser. Where's my browser? It's right there on the second screen. Let me move it here. And now my browser is here. And uh, I will go to this port 500. As a matter of fact, let me open up, let me open up the mm, Chrome Dev Tools. And here you are. Here you are. We have this welcome to app app uh, welcome to app message rendered. But look over here, 55.6 kilobyte transfer. Gzipped uh, project is only 55.6 kilobytes. In this case, it's finished for, uh, in one second, but usually it's uh, faster than that. That's all I wanted to show you. Isn't it impressive that it's only 55.6 kilobytes? Thank you. This was Jakob Fein.